Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle stoichiometry, mole-to-mole -mole ratio. So in our previous video, tinakal din natin yung pag-balance ng chemical equation. So I hope you know already how to balance the chemical equation kasi prerequisite to sa topic na to. Yung link ng video ay nasa description box naman, so you may want to check it out. So let's start to the lesson proper. Let's start with the chapter 1, mole-to-mole -mole ratio formula. Meron tayong formula dito, so we have moles A times man ang coefficient B over ng coefficient A is equal to moles B. Or, it can be moles given, so yung given dun sa problem, the times mo sa coefficient ng wanted, yung hinahanap sa problem, over man ang coefficient given, is equal to moles wanted. So hinahanap natin si moles wanted or moles B. So let's go to the examples and solutions. But first, take note. The chemical equation should be balanced first before computing the ratio. Pangalawa, if there are no coefficients, then understood niyo na one yung coefficient niya. Okay, first example. How many moles of O2 will be produced from 7 moles of water or H2O? So we have a chemical equation bibigay sa like this. H2 plus O2 is equal to H2O. So, it's a check yung muna kung balance na yung equation. So, hindi pa, so we have to balance it. So, makikita mo, that will be 2H2 plus O2 is equal to 2H2O. Now, going back to our formula, so, dun tayo sa moles A times coefficient B over coefficient A is equal to moles B. So, going back to the problem, mapapansin mo, ang moles A natin, that will be yung H2O. That's 7 moles of water or H2O. So, may 7 moles tayo. Ang coefficient B natin, that will be 1. Kasi O2 ang inahanap, and ang coefficient nun ay 1, di ba? Coefficient A, in yung moles given. Yung coefficient ng moles given, so that will be 2. Eh, naka-highlight naman eh. So, color coding tayo dito. Ang yung moles B, that's O2. In yung inahanap natin eh. So, i-substitute natin. First, yung moles A, that will be 7 moles H2O. So, lagay ka na siya. Sa so, coefficient B, that will be 1 O2. 1 O2. Ang coefficient A mo naman, that will be 2 H2O. At mapapansin mo, maka-cancel out yung dalawang H2O. So, you do the math na lang. So, that will be 7 times 1 is equal to 7. Divide mo ng 2, that will be 3.5. So, the answer will be 3.5 moles O2. So, dun sa tanong na, how many moles of O2 will be produced from 7 moles of water or H2O? So, magkakaroon ng 3.5 moles ng O2. For every 7 moles ng water, there will be 3.5 moles ng O2. Alright, so next example tayo, number 2. How many moles of water will be required to make 22.5 moles of H2? So, we have an equation again, H2 plus O2 is equal to H2O. First, check mo ulit kung balance na siya. So, hindi pa. So, we need to balance it. So, that will be 2H2 plus O2 is equal to 2H2O. Again, lagi ko lang yung formula, pati yung mga coefficient. Na-highlight ko na yung mga coefficient B and coefficient A. So, for moles A, yun yung moles given, we have 22.5 moles of H2. So, lagi ko na siya. 22.5 mole H2. Coefficient B natin, yung coefficient ng inahanap. So, that will be yung 2 sa H2O. So, 2H2O na siya. Coefficient A naman, again, that's the coefficient ng given. So, that will be 2H2. So, you do the math, maka-cancel out yung dalawang H2 at 22.5 times mo ng 2 at divide mo ng 2. So, that will be still the same. 22.5 mole H2O. So, dun sa tanong na how many moles of H2O will be required to make 22.5 moles of H2, ang sagot din ay 22.5 mole ng H2O. For every 22.5 moles ng H2 or hydrogen gas, that will be 22.5 moles H2O. So let's go to example number 3. Copper sulfate pentahydrate is a hydrated compound or CuSO4 5H2O is strongly heated causing the water to be released. How many moles of water are produced when 1.75 moles of copper sulfate pentahydrate is heated? So, ang given mo is 1.75 moles of copper sulfate pentahydrate. Tapos, hinahanap mo how many moles of water. So, highlight ko na yung given pati yung 
inahanap or yung wanted. Lagay ko na rin yung coefficient pati yung formula. So, dahil walang coefficient dun sa copper sulfate pentahydrate, lagay ko na ng 1. Understood na 1 yun. Alright, so, i-substitute ko na lahat ng given. So, we have for the mole A, yung given natin, that will be 1.75 mole of copper sulfate pentahydrate. Multiply mo doon sa coefficient B or coefficient ng 1 ted. So, that will be 5H2O. Over mo sa coefficient ng given, which is 1 copper sulfate pentahydrate equals sa mole B. So, you do the math, maka-cancel out yung copper sulfate pentahydrate, and we're going to multiply 1.75 to 5, and the answer will be 8.75. So, the answer to the question, how many moles of water are produced when 1.75 moles of copper sulfate pentahydrate is heated, that will be 8.75 moles of water. Alright, so last example tayo, mole-to-mole -mole ratio example number 4. Use the following equation. Propane plus oxygen gas is equal to carbon dioxide plus hydrogen gas. Questions are, first one, how many moles of oxygen gas are required to combust 1.5 moles of propane? Letter B, how many moles of CO2 are produced? Letter C, how many moles of H2 are produced? So, is isayin natin yung problem. So, may kita man natin dun sa chemical equation that it's already balanced. So, Let's go to the first question. How many moles of O2 are required to combust 1.5 moles of propane? So, again, yung formula natin, moles A times coefficient B over coefficient A is equal to moles B. Substitute mo lang yung mga given and yung wanted. So, first one, we have 1.5 moles propane. We multiply mo siya sa coefficient ng wanted, which is 3O2, over mo sa coefficient ng given, 1C3H8. So again, maka-cancel out yung propane. Ang matitira is 1.5 mole times 1 ng 302. And the answer will be 4.5 moles ng oxygen gas. Right, then there's a part B ng question. How many moles of carbon dioxide are produced? So again, lagi ko lang yung formula ulit. And remember, we have 4.5 moles of oxygen gas. We can use the other naman, which is 1.5 moles ng propane. But we can use naman din the yung answer kanina na, which is 4.5 moles ng oxygen. So, let's use that one. And let's substitute it. So, yung given mo, that will be 4.5 moles ng oxygen. Mo multiply mo sa coefficient ng wanted, which is 3CO2, over mo sa coefficient ng given, which is 3O2. That's equal to, kakancel out yung dalawang 3, pati yung O2. So, 4.5 moles times mo ng 1 CO2 is equal to 4.5 moles ng CO2. So, dun sa 4.5 moles ng CO2, how many moles of CO2 are produced? So, that will be 4.5 moles. And last part tayo ng question, how many moles of H2 are produced? So, we can use the given ulit na 4.5 moles of oxygen gas. And that will be, lagi ko ulit siya dun sa una, and siya yung given natin, that will be 4.5 moles O2. Multiply mo siya sa coefficient ng wanted, which is 4H2. Over mo ng 3O2, kasi the, ang 3O2 na yun yung given natin. So, cancel out yung dalawang O2. So, 4.5 times 4, that will be 18. Divide mo ng 3, that will be 6. So, the answer is 6 mole H2. And that's the end of the lesson about Stoichiometry mole to mole ratio. Ang next video naman natin will be about stoichiometry mass to mass ratio. For example, we have a chemical equation of 4 iron plus 1 and 3 oxygen gas is equal to 2 ferric oxide. How many grams of ferric oxide are produced when 42.7 grams of iron is reacted? So if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Kung may assignment kayo, comment down below nyo again. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.